How's it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Town of Salem. In this video we will be going over the new teaser which came out today and my theory on what the coming update is all about. I challenge you guys to poke holes in my theory and prove with evidence why you think I'm wrong. Because I have a very strong feeling that I've cracked this case. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So let's start off with the update we got this week. We have this werewolf presentation. Blank Media comes out and they go announcing the werewolf. The werewolf revealed, come back next Friday, April 2nd for another announcement. First talking point. What do you guys think of this werewolf? What do you think of the art style? What do you think of the color blue? How do you feel about this one? I personally feel like it's not too bad. <laughs> Honestly, it looks kind of ugly, but like it looks okay, right? A lot of people on my Discord didn't like it. I feel like the general consensus is negative about this, but I do feel like there's a reason why this is the color blue. We will get into that later in Conspiracy Time. So, they also came out with this, and they said, After many moons, an era of uneasy peace began. What do we think this means? Leave your opinion in the comment section below, because I have a theory. Now, guys, let's jump into Conspiracy Mode. This is what we're doing. This is what I personally think this update is all about. Now, my conspiracy theory is this. The new update is an Among Us style Town of Salem spin-off, or at the very least, a version of the game where you can run around with these particular characters on a map. And I'll present to you why I think this is the case. So a lot of people, including myself, thought that this was going to be an art overhaul with maybe a new mode, or new roles, or an expansion of some sort. Let me shatter all that, and tell you why this is not an art overhaul, and has nothing to do with new roles, or new modes, or anything like that. So, my first piece of evidence. Let me show you guys this. Do you guys see what this is? This is all of the skins in the game. We got the default skins, the YouTube skins, the premium skins. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Exclusive skins, special skins. Okay. Now, when we look at all these skins, when we go through all of these, look at how many there are. Do you guys think that Blank Media Games would spend all their time and all their effort into recreating each and every one of these skins? Ground up, not to mention all of the pets, not to mention all of the maps, not to mention all of the death animations. I would say no. This is a company that took years to come out with the Unity update. I highly doubt they would spend all their time making these skins ground up again. I don't think this is an art overhaul. And you know what kind of gives us the hint? You see these unreleased skins? These skins, which may be released in the future? Blank Media made these, the Consig, the Disguiser, the Psychic. You can't play as these, you can't use these skins. They're not actually playable yet. Let's ask ourselves this. Why would Blank Media waste time making these unreleased skins when they were coming out with an art overhaul for the game anyway? Wouldn't that be a complete waste of time? What's the point of making these if there's an art overhaul. I would say this suggests the thing that's coming out has nothing to do with an art overhaul at all. Not to mention, we've got unreleased pets as well. Second piece of evidence I have for why this isn't an art overhaul. Not too long ago, someone tweeted Blank Media and said, new art style, the current one was fine, add new roles. Blank Media comes out and replies, who said this is what this is? Boom. I would say straight up, that confirms it's not an art overhaul. Why would they say that? So in summary, when I look at all of these skins, there's about 90 of them here, right? I don't think Blank Media is going to recreate all of these. And I don't think they would make unreleased skins that aren't out yet when they were coming up with an art overhaul anyway. It would be a complete waste of time. I also think that this tweet suggests that it's not an art overhaul. They're kind of saying themselves, who said this is what this is? Now I'm going to show you guys evidence that supports this being an Among Us style spin-off of the game. Let's go back to week one. So week one, this is what we got. 
something traitorous is coming to town of Salem. Now, people in the comment section of the previous video noticed that the T was capitalized. Very interesting. It would suggest that traitorous or traitor is a name in what is coming up. I don't know about you guys, but the name traitor is pretty similar to the name imposter. I personally feel like there may be a connection there. Maybe instead of finding the imposter in this game, we're trying to find the traitor. The T being capitalized makes me feel like the new evolution of this game might have the name Town of Salem Trader something in it. If you know what I mean, like Town of Salem XYZ Trader, Town of Salem Trader, just something I feel like the spin-off of this game will have the name Trader in it. Then we move on to the next week. They present us John Hathorne, gold background behind him, and they call him the Pilgrim. They don't call him a townie, they don't call him a role that's already in the game, they just call him the Pilgrim. I don't know about you guys, but when I look at the strong color of gold behind him, and when I look at his stumpy legs, and when I look at everyone else's stumpy legs, and their sideways angle, it almost looks like I can control this character and make them run around. Maybe that's just me. Look at the color of the werewolf. Kind of strange that they went with a strong color of blue. Personally, I think they made it this color of blue because people are going to be yelling things like blue sus, gold sus, red sus, purple sus. To me, it has to be that. Why else would they make the werewolf this color of blue? It looks like they want us to call them blue. So expanding on the theory, conspiracy mode, we got seven portraits here. So to me, that would suggest that maybe it's a seven player game, possibly eight because this one is covered. Maybe there's something secret behind this. Maybe the trader is behind this. We don't know. Maybe it's actually just the logo. I could be wrong here. Maybe there's more roles. Maybe that's just the teaser. But I would say that there would be less than 15 plays in this game. Possibly 7, maybe 10, just like Among Us. So then they came out with the next evolution of Salem. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the next evolution of Salem to me suggests a spin-off version of the game. Another evolution of the game. Another version of the game. And I don't know about you guys, but Among Us was pretty damn popular. It was the next evolution of social deduction games. That kind of adds to my theory. We move to this week. They say after many moons, an era of uneasy peace began. So in my opinion, uneasy peace means maybe in this version of Town of Salem, the town, in this case, the pilgrim, the werewolf, the vampire or mafia or whatever this is, the witch, the plague bearer, the potion master and whatever this is, maybe they are all working together and they aren't against each other anymore. Maybe that's what they mean by peace. Maybe they all actually have to work together to do their tasks and try to find the traitor who's an even bigger threat. My final argument is that Among Us has Town of Salem mods which are pretty damn popular and if I was blank media, Personally, if my game was being used as a mod in another game and it was popular, I would try to make my own version of the game because it's my game. That is essentially all of my points. Went full conspiracy, could be completely wrong, could just be Alex Jones, but it's fun to get hyped and it's fun to add to the discussion. I challenge you guys to prove these points wrong and maybe present an alternative view. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more. I'll see you all in the next one.